Um, hello, so um, I just thought I'd make a bit of an update. Um, I'm about three weeks post-op um, at the minute. Um, just just very slightly under three weeks and I just wanted to make a bit bit of an update on, on how my recovery is going and my actually my experience of recovering from surgery so far. Um, because a lot of people talk about how the results are going, but they don't really talk about you know what they've been able to do, how um, services have been interacting with them and stuff like that. So I mean I'm in the UK, um, which things are often done slightly differently to the US. Um, so I'll just start off by saying you know the first week I was the first week of recovery I was just in hospital the whole time. I spent four nights in in hospital. Um, so I didn't really have to do anything for myself at all, I just, you know, just basically had to lay there, go for little walks if I wanted to, um, and that's basically what I did. Um, <clears throat> and, because, and the reason I was in for so long is because of the complication I had in, in this side where I had the haematoma. Um, <clears throat> so the first week I don't really remember all that much of it, I'll be honest, because um, I was on a lot of painkillers. Um, then I got home, and the first week of being home was quite, kind of, that was quite difficult as well, because I had some problems where the hospital had the wrong um, GP um, for me. They, they still had me registered at my old GP, which obviously they weren't going to take a, a dressings referral, so all of that had to be sorted out over the course of that week to see where I'm supposed to go for dressings appointments, what um, kinds of dressings I need, da, da, da. so that was quite problematic and I got a small infection on this side as well, um, the left side, and so I had to go on a course of antibiotics for that. Um, and then there were some problems where I ran out of medication and had a bit of difficulty finding um, a pharmacy that would give me some more and it was all, it was a bit bleh. Um, but in the end, it all got sorted out, and now, after kind of the first two weeks of crap, and this third week um, seems to be going quite well. Um, sort of from kind of the back end of last week, from kind of Thursday, Friday, things have been slowly, like, really starting to improve. I can do a lot more. Um, I know what my pain medication regime is supposed to be, and, and how long it's supposed to go on for, and all of that. And I started taking Arnica again, um, which I I wouldn't recommend taking this before surgery because I think that it may have contributed to the amount that I bled. Um, but once everything's kind of closed up and whatever, I'd say you know I think that this has really helped to bring my bruising down because um, the bruising kind of was exactly the same or at least not exactly the same, but it was very much there for the whole of the two weeks. And then when I started to take the Arnica, it's just, it's gone within a matter of like three, four days. Um, I just have a little bit of yellowing still. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I have, I mean, I don't think I have the amount of energy that I would have normally, but I have, I am able to kind of do like more than just one task a day, like I can make my bed and I can go to the shop and I can go and have coffee with a friend, you know, that that's the kind of where my energy level is at at the minute and I can take public transport and stuff. Um, I think I'm probably doing too much because um, that's, that's basically, I think that's just how I am. Um, I'm you know, I shouldn't really be taking public transport on my own because I can't use my arms to support me um, with like, kind of, like I have to wait for the bus to stop and then stand up, so it makes everything a little bit more difficult, um, and a, and a little bit more tiring, and my energy isn't back to normal completely anyway, um, so I'm having to use my, um, tummy muscles and my hip muscles to do everything, which means that my t tummy is in almost constant pain because I'm using those muscles so much, and I don't normally, because I'm, I'm the person that uses kind of all of these muscles, um, but I'm having to use other muscle groups to to do things, um, which is great for my figure, but <laughs> is painful. Um, and also, I'm I'm trying to actively change my posture because before before having surgery, like my posture was very much like this is this is kind of how it was, and I'm trying to 
trying to actively encourage myself to stand up straight, which is really quite, you know, it's more challenging than I thought it was going to be because I'm having to engage my muscles differently. Um, so, yeah, so that's kind of where my physical recovery is at. Emotionally, I feel much better than I did. Um, I've kind of, the anaesthetic depression stuff has kind of stopped. Um, I feel like I'm feeling more back to normal within myself. Um, you know, I feel a bit stressed about various things, but those are just kind of things that I feel stressed about anyway, like money and work and, and stuff like that. So that's just kind of being there, really. Um, but, you know, I, I feel really good and I, I can feel, I mean, I went out with some friends on Friday, Saturday and Sunday and um, I had quite an active weekend and sort of saw a lot of people that I haven't seen for a while and everybody said that my confidence is, is just kind of lifted, that I seem, you know, lifted in myself and that that's, you know, a really good thing. Um, so I, I think, you know, I think that, that you know, and I'm, I'm standing up straight and I feel more able to speak out and project myself and stuff and it's really, yeah, I, I do feel a lot more confident and it's kind of, it's, it's not a confidence that's been brought on by anything outside. I really feel that it's a confidence that's kind of been drawn up from within. Um, kind of like I've been kind of almost opened up in a way by this surgery. And it feels, you know, I wasn't expecting that. Um, and it's really nice um, to feel that and stuff. So, yeah. Um, so I guess I'll show you guys how my chest is doing. Um, so this is how it is um, at the minute. Um, that's the sort of side on, on that side. So it's still, you know, it's still quite swollen, but I mean, it's looking kind of like how, how I want my chest to sort of look. Um, this is the side that had the hematoma, so this is the more problematic side, I'll get onto that in a minute. But this side is doing fine, um, it's all healed up around the edges, apart from like one little bit that's still a bit scabby up there. Um, and then this is all healed up apart from some scabbing just here. Um, so everything's closed up and kind of secure now, it's like there's no holes in it or anything. Um, the only weird thing I've found with this side is that my nipple is quite kind of puffy. It's like, well it's not pu it's not like swollen, but, I mean I'm sure it'll settle down in time, but it's like, it's very raised, it kind of, it feels a bit like a button that's been put on there almost, it's quite funny. Um, I have sensation kind of up to about, about, about here, and my sensation is as it always was in the middle, and then as I go out like that it gradually gets less and less, and I've got sensation all up around here and all under here, it's just, it's literally that area where I don't have sensation at the minute, so it, it, it'll come back I'm sure. Um, so I've still got a little bit of swelling under here that's, you know, that's just kind of doing its thing and, and a little bit of excess kind of tissue, I think, actually. Um, bruising's mostly gone. I've still got a lot of stitches that just don't want to go and they're kind of annoying me because I just want them to kind of fall out now. Um, with the pleating, um, I can tell now that this is how the pleating kind of is at the minute. Um, there's quite a big one there, but all the rest are really quite small and sort of not, probably won't be really noticeable after a little while. Um, and I think that, yeah, I, I really think that the, the pleating will go away with time, massaging it, going to the gym and, and stuff like that. So, um, that's not, it's not really anything I'm particularly worried about. Um, so yeah, on this side, this side's doing weird things. Um, so, I still have a bit of a seroma up here, um, there's still some fluid in there, but it's mostly gone now. Um, it's been replaced by like normal swelling and also this little um, kind of hard lump just down here that I'm not sure what it is, but it is just a little lump um, that I'm sure will resolve itself in time. Um, the actual nipple itself is still a little bit gooey. Um, still not particularly happy. Let's, there we go. 
Um, I've got, yeah, it's really quite scabby. Um, this is a scab. The only thing, it, it is flatter and more flush than this nipple, but this one looks a lot happier. Um, and it's really healthy and it's just kind of there being happy and healthy. Um, this side, I'm sure it's fine, it's just taking longer to heal. Um, so you can see here there's a bit that's still healing, and under here there's a bit that's still healing. So a lot of this is still closing up. Um, with the actual incision, all of that there, from here, just like that bit there is still healing, but from here up it's pretty much healed, just waiting for some stitches to come out. And then there's this really weird thing down here where there's just like a stitch randomly poking out. No idea what it's for, why it's there, whatever. Um, but yeah, generally, like, when I look at it, like, the swelling on this side has gone down a lot, and, and again, on, on this side, it's, it's doing okay, like, this, this side here is kind of like where this side was a couple of weeks ago, so, um, I'm really, I'm really happy with it, you know, I mean, I like how it looks, I like where my, where my nipples are, like, the whole thing and the way that the scars have been placed as well, I'm just really chuffed with it. Um, and it's, I can now see, like in the first couple of weeks I was like, there's no progress happening and I'm really quite impatient with this kind of thing, I'm not very patient with my body. I want it to heal now, I want it to heal yesterday. Um, but I can really see that it's progressing and it, it's responding to me caring for it and moisturising and, and, and just generally looking after myself and also making sure that I eat enough because that's something I struggle with is I, I um, if I'm a little bit not well I, I instantly lose my appetite um, so but yeah no it's going really great and I'm really excited about it now um, and I'm excited about going on holiday as well because I'm going to go over to a, a like a beach holiday um, in Southeast Europe um, in September. So I'm really, really excited about that now. So yeah, I've probably rambled on for long enough. So thanks.